I'm gonna get out of here tonight on a local comedy joke. I'd like to just do some behind the scenes uh, um, comedy drama we have here in the Las Vegas community. A lot of you guys look up here and you're like, wow, Patrick, you sure make it look fun and easy. <laughs> and sure, I wish I was out there watching this with you. <laughs> but behind the scenes, we have a lot of fucking weird characters in Las Vegas. And I wanted to talk about some of them here tonight and I talked to a lawyer. Well, I got high and I Googled. <laughs> and it said in order to talk about people in the Las Vegas scene, I have to not use names and I have to say something like allegedly or apparently or I heard. So allegedly. <laughs> I heard. There's, uh, these are some of the people on the Las Vegas comedy scene, just so you know, like the personalities we have. We have a, a guy who's a Latino who's, uh, who had a brush with success early on, but didn't make it, and now he lashes out at comedians. He actually got in trouble recently for assaulting a comedian outside of a club. We have a comedian who has made it his brand to get every comedian in Vegas to just hate him so much that they can't stop talking about him. <laughs> and it works. He, in the past two years, he's been hit by two comedians. <laughs> and this is my favorite one. We have it an older comedian. Nobody knows how old he is because he keeps getting Botox. <laughs> he just keeps injecting it into his face over and over and over again and he keeps dyeing his hair over and over. It's fr he looks like a scarecrow made out of roast beef sandwiches. <laughs> and then he started tattooing his face and his neck and then he went out and got cat eye contact lenses that glow in the dark and then he went and had his, his septum pierced and his nose bridge pierced, and his, and his eyebrow pierced. And then he went back to the tattoo shop and had his eye pierced, his whole fucking eye, sir. The bottom, the brow, the lid, all of it. And now he does so much Botox, his face has shifted. So when he closes it, the tattoo doesn't line up anymore. And it's incredibly annoying. <laughs> Last week, he had a tooth fall out. Fall out, just fall out, like a January jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> Do you get my point? He's every HR department's nightmare fuel. <laughs> the craziest thing about those three guys, they're all the same guy! They're, they're all the same guy! Good night, Las Vegas. <laughs>